Hi, Ni Hao, I'm Chef Tom. It's all about umami now. Spicy soya bean paste with chili. That is the Thai or Vietnamese. They have like anchovy with shallot, garlic, shrimp paste, everything in this jar. Take two to three years to make one like this. So we're gonna stir fry with some cilantro, onion, chili, broccoli, mushroom, bell pepper. Those are the vegetables that I have. And we got this flank steak, I thinly slice, and we're gonna marinate the steak first. Some pepper, black pepper, just a little bit of kosher salt, not much. And give them a quick stir. What I'm going to do is, I'm going to smack the beef a little bit, just like this. Just for like a one minute. You can tell the muscle, the tissue, will start to like tear a little bit. And then, we're going to add some bitternate. Eyeball it and just enough to moisture the beef. You see that? To tenderize the meat. So when you stir fry, we're nice and tender. Mix it up like that. Very easy. One extra step you can taste the difference. And then we're gonna add some cornstarch. Give them a quick mix, just like that. Nice corn starch coating the beef. So when you cook, it will brown easier and also will not easy to overcook the protein. And now it's kind of like glued together and we're gonna add some sesame oil. And now they're easy to break apart. Something like this, you don't need to uh, like marinate it for too long. Maybe 15-20 minutes, it's good enough. Make sure you cut the meat against the grain. Alright. Hot cooking oil. Vegetable cooking oil. We're gonna add the beef in. Spray out the beef a little bit. We just give them a quick stir fry, semi cooked. Just brown the beef a little bit. This is good. And then we're gonna add in the onion and the garlic. I'm assuming. Onion and the hot chili. Quick stir. Some sherry cooking wine. Just like that. So we add in all the vegetables. Oh, smell amazing. Every time you add a cooking wine in with the flavorful spices, beef, you see now we slow down the cooking time of the beef, right? Now give you some time now to add the ingredient, ginger and garlic in. The hot chili soya paste in. Tamari. Tamarine paste. Free sauce. Just a little bit soy sauce, like that. Give them a quick stir. The beef is really tender. 
how you can know is when you hit it like this, have a little spring like bounce back, you see? Down, down, down. <laughs> it's just like dog, dog, dog. Uh oh, that's too tough. <laughs> We want to make sure all the ingredients, especially the soy bean paste, give them a little time to like braise and cool all the meat vegetable together before we add the stock. I show you how to cook simple meals at home. At the restaurant, will be done in five seconds. Now I'm just joking, like one minute, because restaurant stove is 125,000 BTU. And my stove actually is pretty good. I would say this is about 6,000. All right, so now I'll give them just a tiny little stock. Not much. Now we're just gonna let them cook. Just like that. Good sauce. Beautiful. If you like to add cornstarch mix to thicken the sauce, go right ahead. If you want to just leave it like this because this now they have a really nice tasty umami sauce. Um, so it depends. Sometimes you can go either way and see how which one you prefer more. Alright, I think it's done. Sesame oil. The dish is done. There we go. I'm just gonna pour it into a stainless steel bowl because they have lots of sauce. It's easier to eat this way. Oh yeah. I hope you like the video. I'm Chef Tom. Thank you for watching. I see you next time. Bye.